Hello guys, MC Red Zone Trooper here with my first Icky Worlds Photoshop or GIMP tutorial. And today the tutorial will be how to make a transparent background cutout of your Icky Worlds character. And now what you can use for with this cutout is you can always paste in your Icky Worlds character wherever you want in your graphic art. Um, by that I mean like avatar. Um, in any website, YouTube for example, you can make a banner, desktop background, whatever you guys want. So what I did, what I do to get this uh, cutout of your Icky Worlds character is I slash join white map and I go into the biggest room. You can see it right here. And I go into the biggest room and I get the snipping tool or any photo thing where you can select the portion of your screen. I use green shot, I can put a link in the description. And I just need to move so it's in, not in the way at all. Now you hit print screen, at least on Photoshop, or on green shot rather, and you select your Ake Worlds character. Um, also, keep in mind that you don't want to wear a bunch of white on against this background because it won't really work unfortunately it would be cool if they could change it but see just for an example when you're editing a photo it can't tell that there's a ring around the edge of this blade here because it blends in with the background so you really don't want that to happen this doesn't really matter my white hair right here because it's it has a black outline on the end and Photoshop or GIMP can tell that but this it definitely cannot unless you make a selection so yeah I do not recommend that and it's not good if you do that because it will not work for you properly and I will be right back in Photoshop okay so now that you're in Photoshop what you're going to want to do is hit file new and make it whatever dimensions you want uh, I'm gonna go 1920 by 1080 just for this you can use whatever you want I'll make the resolution 300 Make sure it's RGB color. If you have gray scale, it's going to make everything gray. So yeah, RB, RGB scale. Hit OK. Oh, or you, and you can put your name here, whatever you want. Now hit File, Open, and find your file of your Ake Worlds character. And get a green background. And this will make a good contrast so your color range tool can tell what to cut out. I'll show you that later. So now just need to find your paint bucket tool over here. You click once, click once, click once. Don't try to remove your background. It's not white enough to cut out. You're gonna have to cut that on your own. So now you hit select, color range, make a uh, fuzziness 200. See the selection isn't all grainy and now the image is much better so yeah that's way way better to do and now once you've done that you just hit OK and hit select grow select grow and basically this is going to make your it closer to the image oh sorry about that I forgot this little part of the blade and I'll just redo that quick now that you've done that, you're going to want to hit grow. You can hit it how many times you want, basically. If you go like very zoomed in, I'll go like 800 for example. You can see the individual pic pixels. And this is a good way of telling, like this is just perfect right on right now with the actual image. So that's what you want. So yeah, just go in like 800 and you can tell there. Now what you're going to need to do is hit edit cut, or, sorry about that. What you need to do is you need to go to your eraser tool and hit background eraser and erase like a bit of your photo and now go edit cut and it'll cut out the whole background. Awesome, right? Now if you want to remove your shadow, which I really do, you can like zoom in so you can select nicer and you go to polygonal lasso tool and I'll try making as fast of a selection as I can and make it look nice at the same time 
I usually go way slower, but it's just a tutorial just to give you guys a feel what to do. Yeah, I'm not doing too good right now, but it's just a little tutorial, so you get the idea now. You just hit edit, uh, cut, or control X. Now that you zoomed out, you have a complete cutout picture with no background whatsoever. You can move around, do whatever you want with it. And if you go select all, control C, or copy paste, you have your eight worlds character. And now you can make any background that you want with it. And I'll show you guys how to make cool backgrounds uh, later in my other video for my tutorial, which will be coming out soon. And see now you have like an awesome background image. And for the next tutorial, I'm going to show how to make awesome text. And I can make it 3D or 2D, whatever you guys want. I'll show you both for how to make 2D or 3D. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment as well. And thank you for watching, guys.